Capricorns, to my Capricorns. Um, I'm gonna read the uh, Star Seed spiritual card that I pull for y'all, which is Earth School. It's life lessons, soul growth, study how you're learning. This says, Planet Earth is a great initiation for the soul and life lessons. For the soul and life lessons are the curricul curriculum for which we enroll. These aren't one-time lessons, but themes we choose to circle around, deepening our experience to them as we make our way through the spiral of life. Life lessons are not only about getting it right, they are also about getting it wrong. Remember, Earth is a planet of polarity, which is right and wrong. It helps with the understanding. Each year, the study deepens more and more. If you're going through a difficult time, you're being called to remember that your soul came here to learn and grow. Try not to look at difficult times as getting it wrong. Instead, see it as an opportunity for your soul to grow. If you can find a way to grow and soften your heart through the highs and lows, your soul is most definitely growing, which is the whole point. This card could mean you're being called to embark on a new study or growth. This could, this could be through structured learning, such as university, school, or a training course. If you're having difficulties in a relationship, you are being reminded that these are opportunities for, this, for soul growth. After all, relationships are known as the number one way that we grow as souls while we are here on earth. So for a soul question, how are you being called to grow or learn? My Capricorns, um, it's like realizing that not every time we get things wrong, should we be hard on ourselves? You know what I'm saying? It's all about learning the lessons and using that experience to do things different the next time. You know what I'm saying? That's what life is about. That's what we are here on earth to do, to learn and evolve. You guys could be dealing with something that you feel like you, um, it could have given you anxiety um, and fear. It could be having dreams about things. You want to pay attention to that. It's like paying attention to your intuition and tuning into your subconscious. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we get answers and clarity through our dreams you know what i'm saying with this moon card here it's about also letting our fears take control it's like things that we fear if we give in to fear it could take over our life everything we don't want to happen can manifest through the fears because when you pray and you trust but you still allow fear to control you you're not really trusting and you're not allowing your faith to really work for you. Once you, you, you pray or, you know, believe in who, whatever you believe, the universe, God, whatever, you know, resonates with you. Don't try to control the outcome because that's not really having faith. You know what I'm saying? Um, when we, we have too much expectations, we, we let ourselves down. We are all human, learning, growing, making mistakes and figuring it all out in our own time and everybody is on different journeys no matter if who we in a relationship with everybody has their own soul and are here for different purposes so you can't change someone and they cannot change you internally we are who we are and who we were created to be whether we act from that place or we try to um turn that off and not tune into that it's always gonna it's it's always gonna call to us. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it could be hidden, something hidden that we are trying to figure out. But if you pay attention, you will get the answers because it's all within us. Page of Pentacle Pinnacles could be getting good news about money, manifestation. This is new study, new job, uh an ambitious young person, uh good news about health. Some of y'all could be pregnant. Um, but it's grounding yourself back in nature, seeking further spirituality and knowledge. It's um, setting goals, new beginnings, 
and jumping in. You know what I'm saying? This is like a youthful um, energy. This card is youthful. It's like really looking at the bright side and manifesting. And it's, it's money coming in. It's good news. But it's the start of it. It all starts with the mind. Once we think it, it can manifest for us and know that it's coming. But it's it's about, you know, y'all could be really on the defense and setting boundaries and blocking people. It could have been a lot um, um, like standing your ground, trying to stand up for yourself and your position. It's about challenges. Y'all could have jealousy. People are really jealous around y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, watching you with this page of pentacles could be people watching you following your social media trying to see what you up to see what you're doing but this is about setting boundaries people working against you setting boundaries car come up may have to fight with others about your relationship people may not want to see the two of you together could be family friends or other uh people may have to fight to make it last this could also mean identity theft you know what I'm saying? It's a lot that y'all are trying to stand y'all ground and fight through. But the same people who envy you and who, who fighting you and who slick side talking about you behind your back and all this are going to have to have the front row seat and watching you be successful and watching you be victorious in public recognition. This is a victory from overcoming significant battles. This is achievements, praise, rewards, and good news. Y'all are manifesting greatness for yourself and it's coming to, to fruition. Uh, it's a new job. It's passing exams. Just beware of your pride because pride comes before a fall. You want to stay humble no matter what because your confidence could be really high as you receive validation for your past efforts. Time to celebrate a dream coming to f fulfillment. This is people going to have to watch y'all be um, rewarded for all these things y'all went through you know what i'm saying and having to battle with and stand y'all ground and it's overcoming so much and it's like y'all set out and y'all really was planning and um the more mature version this is like the more mature version of yourself black and people making decisions moving forward it's progression realizing your long-term goals and not wanting to settle with temporary stuff it's like y'all are getting past that just day by day check to check type mental it's like not that survival mental like oh i'm just surviving no you guys want to live it's about y'all want to really exist you know what i'm saying um i'm sorry Y'all don't want to just exist, you know? Y'all want to truly live and be happy. And this is really um, through strength and vision. It's courage to overcoming battles and achieving first stage progression, future planning, and, su and uh, success. So with y'all planning and manifesting this into y'all future, things is coming in for y'all because right here with the... Um, Queen of Pentacles, down to earth, motherly, generous, uh, carer, and a secure woman, financially responsible, creative, practical, business like. And this could be for the males and females. We all, we all have masculine and feminine energy. It's like y'all are really embodying this uh, queen um, energy, queen of Pentacles energy, where you you want security, and that is what y'all focus on, like being secure and building solid foundations in y'all relationships, y'all jobs, and maybe y'all, um, you know, sometimes are not fully clear on certain things. So y'all let fear and not knowing um, cloud your judgment sometimes, but know that when you manifest and when you pray, it's coming through. Just don't try to control it. Let God and the universe and, and um, y'all help manifest that for y'all it's coming in you know with the six of pentacles y'all are really kind and being generous um y'all are kind people giving and receiving um but you want to think is your giving or receiving becoming a crutch for others or who lack self-sufficiency um and sometimes we can break come crumb out of control to keep somebody where we want them to be. If this is not y'all, it could be somebody doing this with y'all, giving enough to keep you out of control, giving enough to keep you where they want you or you know what I'm saying? If this is you, you want to think about that because that can uh, 
turn into karma. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to give out of control. You want to give out of the kindness of your heart. You know what I'm saying? With, without no expectations of receiving anything back. Because when you truly give, it's because of who you are. It's not because of what you can gain. So this could be somebody sharing their wealth, charity, just generosity. But also you want to watch for giving too much for trying to be a show off or being kind to people who really can't. You want to give but show people how to get it for themselves you know what i'm saying because if they lack self-sufficiency that could be a crutch your giving is not really showing them or teaching them how to get it on their own and become uh more secure in their own life so y'all are really coming out of like a hard time and letting fear control y'all lives and thinking so much about what you don't want when you manifest and when you think positive then you get back the things you want. When you're thinking of all the negative things in your relationship, in your your reality, you're holding space for that type of stuff to keep manifesting because that's what you're thinking about. All our thoughts manifest. So you want to think of the things you want and don't stay in thought of everything that you don't want to happen. Think of the things you want to create. Think of how you want your life to become. Always think of that. When you have that negative thought, switch it. To what you know you want so often we get caught up into and in what feels um settling or what feels comfortable for us sometimes it's comforting to think about everything we to rethink about everything that didn't work out or how it went you know what i'm saying we're supposed to have those thoughts and you know what i'm saying uh acknowledge the thoughts about past things but once you understand what what you thinking about it for not to have it manifest in your reality just let it go you know some things we can't control so there's no need and no point and no use in harboring over it and letting it linger in our minds to just create more and more negative outcomes you know what i'm saying we want positive outcomes we this is what's coming to us so to continue thinking positive, we continue bringing these positive experiences in our lives. So thank y'all so much, Capricorns. I hope that it helps. And until next time, love y'all.